Welcome everyone to the beginner guitar course. So if you are joining our community and you are really wanting to play guitar, this is for you. This is for everyone who has always thought about playing guitar and never really had the direction on how do I go about getting this? Do I get a guitar teacher? Do I sign up and spend money and buy these courses and blah, 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 all that stuff. So I'm trying to make your life pretty easy. Um, this course is designed to be free. It is always going to be free. Um, you're just going to jump in here. You're going to learn all the fundamentals of how I would approach guitar playing um, and everything I've learned. I'm a graduate of Berklee College of Music. I got a scholarship to go there as a guitarist. Um, I live stream five days a week currently from when I recorded this video. Uh, and this course is for you to just basically take all the best practices that I have ever learned from formal education and the education of being a performer. You know, I've done over a thousand shows. Uh, I, I know what connects with people. I know what parts of my playing resonate with a complete random person in the crowd. And so learning how to, whether it's playing in your bedroom, playing for your family and friends in a campfire, wanting to become a professional musician, or just someone who like does a couple of gigs, or you want to live stream, or you want to entertain your kids or anything like a lot of the principles are the same and I'm here to help you get that, you know, completely figured out right at the beginning because a lot of it is a mindset thing. Now, if you're a beginner, the, the best thing I can say to you is you're going to suck. <laughs> I know it's hard to, I know I'm not going to jump in here and be like, let's go. Woo -woo! You're going to kill us. You're going to be amazing. Wow, wow, wow. The fact that you're wanting to pick up the instrument, you've already won the game. Like that's, you're already amazing in my books. Now, this next part that's about to, you're about to go down is this is things that you just don't know. And whenever you're jumping into building a brand new skill, I go through the pain of this every day when I create content. Um, uh, you just don't know what you're doing. And what's going to happen is you're going to suck. And then what's going to happen is you're going to follow this course and you're going to try all these different things and you're going to put time in and then you're going to suck a little bit less. And then after, you know, a couple of months or a year of you putting in quite a bit of effort and just being, just trying to find the joy in this really rigorous process of, you know, music is, it's a learning curve. It's a new skill. It's challenging your brain on um on a bunch of challenging your hands figuring out all these things figuring out music figuring out how to be you know just learning how to fall in love with creating the sound yourself rather than just listening to a recording now all those processes you're just going to start really bad and then you're going to suck a little bit less and then you're going to be someone where someone says hey that was all right you know i could listen to that and the core thing about all uh, my approach to music is um, to become listenable. So if you're a beginner, you just want to be listenable. And being listenable is, um, is not something that musicians talk about a lot. Um, a lot of the times we're going to hear like, learn these scales, learn these chords, learn this, learn this, learn, like just giving you a lot of information. Um, now the information doesn't really mean anything if you don't have core concepts that allow you to be listenable. And being listenable simply just means playing in time. That's it. Can you play in time? The thing that really resonates with people um, is your rhythm and your time and how well you can connect to music. And that usually comes through your rhythm. Now, we're gonna go into a lot of stuff, uh, but I just want you guys to sit down and think about why do I want to play music? What would be the goal? Like seriously, even if between it being like, I want to play for my family and friends, or I want to play for myself, or I want to be a pop star, be real with yourself. Your goals will change as you learn more things. Cause sometimes people will walk into music, especially like I look at myself and I'm like, I went in cause I like playing good. Like I wanted to be like the guy in my band because I played trombone. And I was in like this jazz band um, at school. And I was like, I want to be like the guitarist in the band. So then I really wanted to play the guitar. Um, and then I fell in love with like um, shredding. You know, one of, my, one of my early guitar mentors, he was like this 
amazing shredder and he could play like through the fire and flames and do all these things he's now got a very successful prog, prog rock band but that was my earliest influence so then all i did was just play the shredding and then i discovered john mayer and then i was like whoa well i would play eruption by eddie van halen and no one really cared and then my friend would play save tonight by eagle eye cherry and everyone was like man this guy's the coolest thing and i'm like what the hell like that's four chords and so <laughs> I learned quite quickly, that's what being listenable is. Play the four chords. No one wants to hear you go, except for a couple of people. They loved it. And it was fun for me to do. But I wanted to do that. Now I have my relationship with guitar became, I want to just not be playing the trombone. And then it became, well, I actually kind of really want to get really fast at the guitar because I really want to play the, the cool, blazing, interesting guitar stuff. And then it was like, actually, I just want to be listenable and connect with people. So then I started learning how to sing and I started learning how to write songs and I started learning how to be slower on the guitar, learning how to actually connect my music. Then I was like, well, I need to go to Berkeley because I want to be a, a hit writer. And then I go to Berkeley and then I realized, wow, I really suck because all these people here are really, really good. And then I was like, now where I'm at is I'm like, oh, cool. I've already hit the stage of like, I am definitely not going to be like a, a famous person, but I was like, but I could still write a hit song. And so that's my journey. So um, I'm just documenting that whole pre process. So be real with what your goals are. Um, and you can have crazy goals. I don't mind. I, the, the most wild is even better. Um, uh, but everyone starts at the beginning. There is no person that starts out being amazing. So you developing a skill set becoming great in your craft in your journey as a musician that is very real and you can totally do it so with this course um this is not going to be the be all end all course uh i am going to re-record this probably 20 times um, my goal is to make the best free guitar course for everyone um, and so your feedback and your consumption of the course and your progress and jumping into the discussions on school, asking for feedback, all these different things. Use every tool, use your community um, because that's going to be the power of this course. The power of the course is going to be you consuming the content, you picking up your guitar, you trying stuff out, you jumping into the, co the community and being like, hey, I just got through this module and I learned this song. What do you guys think? And then you're going to have a community of people who are going to be like, Keep going, keep going, keep going. Think of it like you're a baby, right? When you see a baby trying to learn how to talk and they like, you're like, say that, say, say, how are you? And then like, ooh, you're like, oh my God, that is so cool. That is what you're doing essentially in music. Like, I'm going to say, hey, play a G chord and you're going to go, Bring, and do not be mad that it sucks because you're taking the steps. So, you know, it might sound very horrible for someone like me to hear you play a G chord, but I see where that step is leading. Um, for you, you might not see that step right away, uh, but it's a huge step. So just think of yourself as like a baby trying to speak <laughs> and, uh, and that will make it a lot easier to be like, oh, cool, I've got permission to just, I'm just gonna make mistakes and I'm going to learn and I'm gonna fumble through this process and just use the best information that I can get and then do it. And like I said, this is free. It'll always be free. Share it with your friends. Do whatever you can. Um, enjoy yourself in this process and just have heaps of fun. Anyway, we're going to jump into a couple of the fundamentals. Um, I try not to be, I will, I typically try not to be very like uh, theory heavy uh, because there's a couple of core fundamental musical things that you need first. And then I will build another course for you if you are wanting to be very, very serious in like leveling up your knowledge and theory. But there's a couple of basic things we'll tackle. And um, yeah, let's just jump into the course. Have a lot of fun. Let me know in the feedback uh, portion of the community channels that we have uh, and just D or DM me. Any, any kind of feedback helps me. I will always try to make the best video possible for you all. And um, yeah, let's... Let's get in and have a good time learning how to play some guitar. All right.